Hello everybody and welcome to this very exciting newsworthy video here today. Um, I'll give you a little fun little trick-or-treat story that is, happened the day after Halloween. Um, I got a message saying that um, a FedEx package came here. So I ran down to the lobby. Actually, I didn't run. I slowly walked out of my apartment and then took the elevator down. And there was no package. And so I was like, shit, did I see one on the third floor? Like, when I was walking around? Like, mm. And so like, I came back up the elevator, walked around, couldn't find it. And then right when I got up to my door, I heard a man talking inside my fucking apartment. And I fucking lost my shit. And I thought someone had broken into my apartment while I was down checking the lobby. So I fucking bust in the fucking room, okay? Like a fucking lunatic. And you know what it was? I was talking to Alan from Big Hard Classics and Bucks on Voxer and forgot to close out a Voxer before I left to go check for the FedEx package. And he was just responding. And it was so fucking loud that I could hear it from out in the hallway. Or the walls, or the door is so fucking thin in this apartment that it sounded like some dude was in my fucking apartment. So um, I didn't realize it until I was like halfway into the apartment. And then um, I recognized Alan's voice once there was not a door in between us. Because I don't have a TV. I don't watch TV. TVs are fucking distractions. They suck hours and hours out of your life and give you nothing in return, for the most part. There really shouldn't be another voice in my apartment unless I put it there. That just cracked me up. That was just funny as shit. And I already told Alan about it and he fucking thought it was funny as shit. So we had a good laugh about it. This is the 10th video I've recorded today. 10th. I've always wanted to have a productive day like this, but I never knew what the cost would be. Depending on when this comes out, which probably will be later in the week, there's a good possibility that you have either seen the poet vlog, day in the life thing, where I talk about this briefly, or you heard the I Hate Matt Wall Poetry Podcast episode where I interview uh, Matthew Buckley Smith. On a whim, I just decided that this was the thing I was going to do. So if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, now will be the unveiling. I have decided that I am going next year on a poetry tour across the country. A tour where I am going to come to multiple cities and read fucking poetry and make it a big fucking deal and make it an event. The reason being is because I have been told that that is not possible, that that is not what poetry is, that that is not what poetry does, and that is not what poets do. So to prove to myself mainly, but to prove to poets out there that if you fucking do the thing and you fucking make it a big fucking deal, motherfuckers will think it is a big deal. Motherfuckers will feel that it is a big deal. And you will touch fuckers. Okay? You will inspire fuckers to do the thing. You see what I'm saying here? So this event isn't just for me to do something fucking cool as shit. But it's also to inspire other poets who feel like... They cannot do these things because they are told that that is not how it goes. Most poets will tell you that poetry readings are cringy, a necessary evil, something that's not the most fun in the world, that most people show up because they are friends with someone who knows the poet and all this other shit. That fucking stops now, dude. Poets are going to be the main fucking event, okay? People are going to come to see you, to hear you speak, to hear the words you have written. 
that is why people are going to go to fucking poetry readings for now on. Okay? The poetry industry, the poetry machine is so fucking incapable, inadequate, that they do not understand that poetry, the page poets, even if you want to get into it and say fucking spoken word poets or slam poets or whatever, poetry is really the only form of written art, okay, that you could do something like this with. That you can have a one-person show. That you can have people for entertainment and edification come and see the event. And they just don't do it. They, they can't figure it out. It's so fucking stupid. And I don't know if it's because the publishing industry is just like, you know, poets are really fucking awful self-promoters. And they're really kind of full of themselves and they feel like their time is too valuable and uh, they're fucking insufferable. And if that's the case, then fucking change the fucking record, dude. Search out poets that are fucking on fire. Search for poets that want to cause a reaction Instead of these safe, fucking, ridiculous, up-their-own-ass fucking poets. So this is fucking happening, okay? The scale of it depends on you, okay? The person who is watching this video right now. And what I mean by that is this. I'm stubborn as shit, and I'm stupid as fuck. So if I say I'm going to fucking do something, I'm going to fucking do it because... I don't like being told I can't do something. And if this poetry tour ends up being LA, Santa Barbara, San Diego, Vegas, and that's all I can get people excited about, then that's what this tour will be. Okay. But if this tour, if reading fucking poetry in front of, of people can be exciting enough to get all of you guys excited about this. I will fucking go everywhere. Okay? Because if there is excitement for something, it can happen. So if you are in Washington, if you are in Minnesota, if you are in Louisiana, if you are in Maine, I don't fucking care wherever the fuck you are, if you want this to happen, let's fucking make it happen, okay? I have a couple theories on ways to make it happen really easy, and I also have ideas about making sure that wherever I go, I want to make sure I can go and have you also read poetry that night. So it'll be me and you reading poetry that night, okay? And we will pack them in. We will put asses in fucking seats. Okay? Hopefully, there is some sort of way to market this thing in the town you live in. If you live near a college town, if they have college radio, if they have college youtube -y shit to interview people, anything like that. I was thinking that I could hit every place a day early and make sure that I'm doing enough promotion so the event will fucking go off. I've done tours. I've done tours across the country. I've done fucking film festivals. I, I've done marketing. I've done live events, okay? This should not be any different. And the fact that people make it different is fucking ridiculous. So let's fucking cause some fires. Let's fucking light it the fuck up and have a good fucking time doing it, okay? So, if you are in, let me know down below or send me an email to IHateMattWall at gmail.com and the 2023 fucking poetry fuck you in the mouth, whatever the fuck it is, will happen, okay? So, I have 14 cities 
in mind already that I'm going to try to make happen. But again, how tours go, you have to be able to get to each one. So I'm connecting the dots right now. But if you're interested in this, let me know, because we're gonna fucking turn this fucker up. All right? Type hard. Read hard. And we will fucking have some fun, and I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.